In this episode of Expedition Australia TV, I'm going to show you how to fix a flat tyre using one of these plugs and you don't even have to take the wheel off the car. Yeah, it's not a bad size. <laughs> now, it's pretty inevitable at some point on your trip around Australia or on any sort of road trip you're going to get a flat tyre. Now there's all sorts of flat tyres, there's really serious ones where you've got a big slash down the side of the tyre because you've, you've grazed it on a sharp rock, in that case your tyre is, is finished, that's the end of it. However, if you've just picked up a nail or a screw through the tread area of the tyre, there's a good chance you can fix it and you don't even need to take the tyre off the rim or even take the wheel off the car. Now you do that by carrying one of these repair kits with you, which has these tar-like plugs and a couple of different tools that you use to, to ream it out. Now we took this tyre repair kit with us around Australia and actually only had to use it once, which was good, but I was glad to have it when we needed it. We were up at Hellsgate Roadhouse, uh, which is up in the Gulf Country in uh, northern Queensland, and uh, we came out one morning and lo and behold the tyre was half flat. I managed to fix it without even taking the wheel off the car, so anyway, sit back and see how I did it. You do thousands of kilometres of uh, rough roads like we have and it's inevitable you're going to get a flat tyre sooner or later. And today's the day for us. I just woke up this morning, come out and had a look and this one's on its way down. So uh, I've managed to find where the leak is. It's actually got a rivet stuck over here. See it there? It's stuck in. Mm -hmm. If I move it around. You can hear the air coming out? Yeah, you can hear the air. There you go, see? Yeah. The idea of it is to basically and now we get to fix a tyre on the rim when you get that kind of sort of nail type puncher that we've got there. The idea is you basically clean it out with this sort of reaming tool here. How do you clean it out? Basically the hole needs to be big enough to be able to get the next piece through which pushes the plug in. So I think we've done that now. Pull it out. There's different size ones here for different size holes. Obviously we've only a very small hole, so we'll use this one. Let's thread that like thread, thread the needle, see? So we've got that like that. And we get the glue, squeeze the glue over the hole. one in there. Like that. And once you've got it in there, you pull it back out again. The idea is that it creates a plug. Then we cut it off down to here using a little knife. Theoretically, we've plugged the hole. That should get us going. So I'll give it 10 minutes to dry and then we'll pump it up and see if it holds. Oh, that's about it. That's bare. That's the bear. It's not leaking, so uh, we'll get it out in the road and see how it goes now. Pulled over about 15, 20 minutes down the road and just checked the tyre pressure just to make sure that it was holding air. Uh, if that plug was, was leaking at all, then the, the pressure would have dropped. We're about 30 k's down the road, so let's see how our tyre patch is holding up. Beautiful. So far, so good. And as it turned out, we did the entire rest of the trip without plugging the tyre and it, it, in fact, survived the entire life of the tyre. So uh, I don't think they're intended as a permanent fix, but the reality is they are that good that in our case we never had to do anything else with it. So that's it guys, I'd recommend you include one of these tyre repair kits in your kit. Uh, this one was a Bush Ranger one, you can get them from ARB, you can get them from, from most four wheel drive shops. They're not that expensive, 
and for the for the convenience of, of being able to fix a tyre on the go without even having to take the wheel off the rim, well worth including in your kit. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter. I'm at Steve Bale on Twitter. And you can check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash expeditionaustralia. Of course, our website, expeditionaustralia.com.au.